Well, it's finally been announced. We now have the release date and details of Jethro Tull's Broad Sword and the Beast, the 8-disc deluxe edition. What's on it? Let's find out, shall we? Welcome, Classic Rock fans, to a short video detailing the release of Jethro Tull's Broad Sword and the Beast, the Monster Edition, 8 discs, believe it or not. This will be released on the 1st of September. It includes various mixes, a new Stephen Wilson mix, rough mixes, demos, live stuff, and lots of associate recordings. This is a 5 CD, 3 DVD version with a 164 page booklet. I mean, these things are lavish affairs, which include interviews of everybody involved with the band around this time, of course, including Ian Anderson. We'll give you a track by track pricey of each, and each track on this album. There's also a, an interesting interview with the illustrator Ian McCaig. And also, believe it or not, there's going to be a recreation of the 1982 tour programme. This set will include the uh, not only with the associate mixes and live stuff, but it's live in Germany from 1982, which I believe has already had a release. I'm just wondering if there's any extra tracks with this set. So if you'll forgive me for referring to my computer screen, first of all, we get Broadsword and the Beast, which is the Stephen Wilson mix. That's CD1, which of course is Beast. Beastie, Clasp, Falling on Hard Times, Flying Colours, Slow Marching Band, Broadsword, Pussy Willow, Watching Me, Watching You, Seal Drive, and Cheerio. Then, of course, more interestingly, I suppose, is the associate recordings. These include Falling on Hard Times, the first master from December 81, Beastie, which is the second master, Falling on Hard Times, second master, Seal Drive, which is the first master from the December 81 sessions, Cheerio Ensemble vocal version, Jacqueline acoustic version, and Beastie Shouts. CD2 includes associate recordings, uh, early 1981 sessions, and these are all uh, remixed as well by Stephen Wilson. Uh, Roland's Entry, which is an instrumental, Lights Out, The Curse version 1, The Curse version 2, uh, Too Many 2, uh, Calafell Instrumental, I'm Your Gun, No Step, Down at the End of Your Road, which of course we remember from the 20th anniversary box set all those years ago. Mayhem Maybe, which is a great number with 88 overdubs, which is from the 20th anniversary box set. And Common, Common's Brawl with 1993 overdubs, which is from um, Nightcap, if I'm not mistaken. Return to Califal Instrumental, Jack Frost and the Hooded Crow, what a actually legendary number that is. The Swirling Pit Instrumental and Inverness Sleeper. The further associate recordings are from uh, January 1982, December 1981 to January 82. Uh, Crew Nights, which is a combined version with some 1993 overdubs. Rhythm in Gold, Overhang with 88 overdubs. This was on the 20th anniversary box set. And it's a fine number as well. Uh, really love that song. Jacqueline, the band version, Motorize. Drive on the Young Side of Life with the 1993 overdubs. Then we get an interesting disc, which is demo recordings. These are from the 15th of December, 1981. Flying Colours, Me, Dinosaur, Crew Nights, Rhythm and Gold, Honest Girl, DJ Dream, Seal Driver, Jacqueline, Falling on Hard Times, Drive on the Young Side of Life. Then we get the original 1981 master mixes. Early master mixes prepared in July, 81. Uh, the master mix of Watching Me, Watching You is used on the album. What's also prepared during these mixing sessions. A little bit of an aside there. And these include Beastie, Too Many Two, I'm Your Gun Down at the End of Your Road, Jack Frost and The Hooded Crow. Early rough mixes from 1982 include Slow Marching Band, Pussy Willow, Falling on Hard Times. And then we get the original radio advert for this album, which uh, headlining the band's appearance at the Theakston Music Festival in West Yorkshire on the 28th of August 1982, so there's a promo for that. And now interestingly on CD we get the Live in Germany, which is Class, Hunting Girl, Falling on Hard Times, Pussy Willow, Broadsword, Jack in the Green, One Brown Mouse. So this is kind of the extended version of this concert, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Seal Driver, Heavy Horses, Weathercock, Fire at Midnight, Keyboard Instrumental, Sweet Dream, Peter Vitesse was fantastic in this band. Live in Germany CD 5, which is a continuation of the Live in Germany set. Flying Colours, Songs from the Wood, Watching Me, Watching You, Band Introductions, A Swirling Bit. Pebrock, Black Satin Dancer, Beastie, Too Old to Rock and All Too Young to Die, Aquiline, Minstrel in the Gallery, Locomotive Breath, Black Sunday and Cheerio. Then we get DVD 1, which is audio only, which will include a 
96-24L PCM Stereo DTS Dolby Digital 5.1 Surround Mix. Um, which also includes a flat trance of the 1982 original mix and the associate tracks. DVT, oh, I say that again. DVD 2 is associate recordings, all in 5.1 surround as above. DVD 3 is live in Germany as per CDs 4 and 5, which is fascinating. So it looks as if we're going to get an extended uh, concert. Uh, I'm sure they did Brawl Sword and the Beast when they played that gig. Uh, is that in there? It is in there. Sorry, what am I? So senior, senior moment. This is absolutely fantastic. I mean, for me, what I'm really psyched about is the associate recordings, especially unreleased tracks, but particularly in its entirety, that wonderful, wonderful German concert from 1982. Of course, Brawl Sword and the Beast did very well in Germany. It was a really good selling album for them there. Anyway, you as psyched about this as I am, I will certainly look to try and get a an early copy if I can. If not, I will certainly be pre-ordering it. Let me know what you think in the comments below, whether you will be buying this. For me, I would sell a kidney to buy this, to be honest with you. Anyway, thank you very much for watching a video by an announcement by Classic Album Review. Hope you're well, hope you're staying safe. Please do click like, subscribe and check that notification bell for lots and lots of uh, prog news and rock news and anything Jethro Tull, of course. Where was I? Oh yes, my closing salvo. I hope you're well, staying safe, but more importantly that you keep listening.